Salt Lake? Well, we're out of Salt Lake, but then getting in western Utah here. Mountains sticking out of the plains, coming out of nowhere. We got dirty windshield because we went through uh, a snowstorm with dust in it. So it was dirty snow that was landing on us, so uh, gonna need another wash. A lot of different things in the sand here, memorials and what have you. Uh, kids come out at some point to put beer bottles and designs in the ground and use the black rocks to make designs. And back there looked like a snake was made out of uh, tires cut in half and painted green. Different things. It's kind of a, I don't know, dry lake bed? Salt lake bed? I don't know. I'm sure someone can Google it. Sometimes tire tracks are right on top of it. Sometimes they're really dug in. Maybe the guy had to get pulled out. Really windy here though, blowing me around. Let's see if I can get you a shot out the side window here. Really pretty over there. Those mountains, I could try to make them bigger for you. There you go. But you're looking through a dirty window. Sorry about that. That's all I got. Got a, not a lot of, uh, Gas stations, actually no gas stations in at least, I don't know, 50 miles so far. Hopefully something up here where we're doing fine, but I know Aaron's getting low, but he's trying to catch me. He stopped at a brewery in Denver to pick up something on the way out. I'm not Denver, sorry, Salt Lake. Pick something on the way out. So he's behind me, but I, I think he, if I go 40 miles, I think he goes 50 miles because the speed limit here is 80 and I average about 60 to 65. So he does, it takes me a minute to go a mile, it takes him about 45 seconds uh, or something. You have to do the math. So we were coming up on the Bonneville Salt Flats there. There was a speedway coming up and uh, a gas stations right on the Utah Nevada border we actually did get gas in Nevada of course as soon as we cross state line big casino area a lot of areas for people to park their uh, semi trucks and campers and get into the casino and put down some money on the tables all right well welcome to California um, they believe in uh, their RVs here um, slopes haven't opened yet Zoom in. People in line. We got Bruno on a leash, so it's gonna get jaggedy. I think the line's supposed to be gets going in a little bit. Hold on here. Bruno, settle down. A little bit of camping and picnicking here. All kinds of RVs. We got our up at 4.45 because the slot opens at 5. That's why we got such a good slot. Aaron had read the, uh, after the big snow, the slot was filled up at 6.45, so we got here. You can see people are still coming in. Um, but yeah. So we got maybe parked about 5.10. That's why we got one of these excellent slots. But then, man, there's a lot of RVs were right next to, uh, there's a Class A there. Uh, we're next to another Class B. And then all kinds of stuff in here. I'll get some more shots in a minute. So we got on the lift. They have the lifts lined up for uh, a million people today down in this one lift. But uh, well, the line wasn't too long. We're trying to family. figure out the hill. Oh, we're a family. I did because I showed them the parking lot. Going under the gondola, we dare not go to the gondola because the line there might be crap. So we're going to try to 
somehow get to the far, far right of the mountain. Maybe find some good skiing. It looks, uh, I don't know where the 100 inches went, but uh, it's packed hard. Sounds hard. But Aaron said it's gonna be 41 today, so we dropped the sweaters. We dropped, I dropped my third layer, under layer. And actually it's quite comfortable. And we are just been not, well, we did actually have a longer hike than I thought because they pushed the line for the, the ropes for getting in line halfway up the hill. So, wow, these uh, fields here have really been skied a lot. There is a groomed run up here. Uh, but, looks funnish. Be real fun with new snow. It's okay, we're gonna give it a go. It certainly is beautiful here. Can't complain one iota about the sun. We're at the top. Hey, Aaron! See, 110 inches right there. I don't know where all the snow went. I couldn't get the camera going at the top. Too windy. It wouldn't hear me. That's a good pitch up there. Good job, Amanda. Still morning. Just giving a view. We're on the uh, far right of the mountain as you look at the mountain. This is the back side of Mammoth. Two single chairs out of the back bowl here. Mammoth Mountain uh, was was a lot bigger than I think I expected. I expected it to be good, but wasn't quite um, sure how good it would be. Um, I would love to come back with some fresh snow and, and where the temperatures aren't spring temperatures, but uh, still had a good time and was pretty impressed by this, uh, this big California mountain. So I also really loved skiing at Mammoth. I've been to California a few times, but never to ski. So I was pretty impressed with what they had to offer. As Aaron said, everything was pretty vast. Um, I really loved a lot of the runs. They had a great, a lot of great pitches and faces. Um, the snow, you know, you could definitely tell that it was a bit warm out. But other than that, I have to say it was pretty great. A lot of really good cruise runs as well, where you still had a lot of speed and the views were spectacular. So I agree with my cohorts here. Mammoth was mammoth in size. Um, a lot of bulls would really make for some great powder skiing on a new day. It reminded us a little bit of a veil. Of certainly not as many bulls or as vast, but there are a lot of a lot of bulls here. A lot of terrain. Uh, a lot of we didn't even begin. I don't think in the one day to uh, really explore the mountain. We did go from side to side, but. Uh, a lot was left unskied in between. So I'm gonna get a good day on Monday, maybe explore a little more and give you an update there. So that's the RV lot down there. We're gonna go down, say hi to Boo, and get some lunch.
Booster's gonna be pissed that he hasn't been out here all day. Booster's gonna be pissed that he hasn't been out here all day. You wanna go in and get him, Aaron? Yeah. Oh yeah? A little rough here, huh? Lunch time? What do you think, Bruno? Bruno's into being free. It's a picnic area. Dogs and people. Oh, there's one. More dogs. That mini Aussie there, Amanda. Oh, that happened to it. Oh, there it goes. I lost it. Uh, eyes are in the sun. Sorry about that. Getting exercise with a frisbee. Little lily dog. Can't you can't see the eyes, but the eyes like lily. <laughs> <laughs> 